Dzień dobry. Bardzo dziękuję za zaproszenie i cieszę się, że mogę być dzisiaj z Państwem. Ja chętnie tak nawiążę do prezentacji Kamila, która była bardzo inspirująca. Ja od siedmiu lat prowadzę warsztaty jako wolontariusz z bezpieczeństwa. Is titled uh, uh, "Safe Children Are Safe Parents," and the other way around. It's absolutely true. When a few years ago I was going to schools and I was preparing the workshops, I was looking up for particular children, uh, and I was showing to parents the information that children tend to gather in the network. And later, uh, it was much more difficult because. Uh, children uh, tended to block their profiles. They uh, learned the rules of protecting the data. They didn't do it only to uh, prevent themselves from pedophiles or hate, but to make sure that teachers and parents cannot uh, check on them. Another example which uh, illustrates how do we uh, behave uh, quite uh, um, uh, freely in the internet and there was quite a wave of break break-ins uh, when parents were informing the whole world that they are, were going for vacations. Another example is that some of the people uh, brag about their credit cards and they put the pictures of uh, credit cards in the network, uh, in internet. I'm also referring to this set rule on the statues. Uh, that I read some uh, rules and we clicked that we read something which we didn't read. Our um, data become some form of currency. You should realize that, that what we do in the internet is not only dependent on what we do, but what services we use, what kind of information is uh, gathered about us. Whatever we do, in the internet stays there. During our workshop, uh, I'm uh, describing a tribal example. Our company, just like uh, some other corporations, change, uh, changes or modifies the logo. We were changing our uh, website, and I was uh, mailing to the agency saying that we want you to modify this, uh, we want to bold this. And in the morning, there was a press conference. Uh, and after this press conference, there was a scream of my superior who was uh, uh, showing me that uh, uh, my uh, the, the graphic artist uh, uh, really took all our instructions and uh, put it on this logo. And uh, all this information, all my instructions ended up on one of the websites and was still operated in, in the internet. This is a quite uh, innocent example of how it works. I would like to show you uh, some results of the research, which are interesting because uh, they give us a different perspective. The first, uh, the value and meaning of digital myself is uh, focus on what is our role in the internet from the point of view of internet, uh, what kind of consumers we are, because whatever we do is uh, analyzed by business community. And uh, it is from this point of view, we are thinking what we should offer you. This is a simple slide, which is uh, showing what is a digital myself or digital I. It's all the activities that we do in the internet, all the content that we put in the internet, for example, not only our own content, but also the pictures of our friends, our um, institutions, uh, just like schools who also put some information about us. What was important in this research, not many people control their uh, digital identity. Only 10% of respondents was able to do a catalog of basic activities uh, protecting our privacy. Consumers 
who are able to manage their identity, so they are able to do these uh, basic activities, are more willing to share the data, which is not to say that they share it with anyone, but they know what will happen to it. Uh, so the fear uh, prevents you from sharing. This is the data showing how in 2015, uh, what is the accessibility and the amount of information that we have an access to. Of course, we can use it, but uh, inadvertently many times, because uh, we use various formats of information. What is uh, important, and what refers back to the other slide, is how much the lack of knowledge increases the fear and oftentimes makes many people uh, not use certain tools because they are afraid or they don't know how to control their data. Here you can see information about uh, sensitivity of our data because we often don't realize which data are most sensitive and vulnerable. Most often it is the data which we give uh, up inadvert inadvert inadvertently are most vulnerable. For example, a case of a father from the US who at, on one day received uh, a parcel with pumpers and uh, it turned out that uh, 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 a daughter uh, thought that she was pregnant and the producer sent some material. Well, the most sensitive data are on our health and our finances. And it is surprising that more and more people use uh, mobile uh, banking systems. But uh, whenever I ask uh, parents, uh, most of uh, the parents uh, say yes. And when I ask what should, what is the safe uh, website of the bank, many people don't know how to tell the difference. So even at this most uh, basic stage of using internet, we should have some knowledge. The right of being forgotten, which was also uh, described by media, private persons were fighting for this right to be forgotten. It is a symbol, but it has a positive uh, impact on how do we uh, make our data available. Well, the level of trust differs uh, depending on to which services we use. The least uh, trust we uh, show to uh, the, the uh, cable operators or uh, trading companies. Well, uh, low uh, sensitive info informations are made available uh, by 40% of uh, persons. So we don't think that when, whenever we got, give up some information about ourselves, we'll get some uh, profit, we'll just uh, give it. We are more and more willing to uh, make our data available. What is very important is that what kind of data do we uh, transfer and what kind of compensation we uh, hope for? Is it only the discounts? For example, we um, give our um, uh, email address because we will get some uh, discount. Also, the, the way the data is used is very important for internet users. And the question, how many of us uh, verify the information and the way the data is gathered by the companies, whether the data is uh, safe. And also an issue of uh, the right to be forgotten. So uh, our ability to uh, remove this information and ask the company to do it. Also an important issue of uh, some companies uh, sharing our data to some other uh, institutions. The general conclusion from the research is that uh, the consumers tend to be willing to uh, uh, give their uh, personal data if they see some benefits. 
and uh, mechanisms to protect their uh, privacy should be uh, properly structured, should be transparent, should be easily available. These are the most uh, basic uh, conclusions. Uh, the second uh, survey on being uh, being uh, well, how well we can deal with uh, the services, how competent we are to uh, to get by. And well, of course, these are declaratory uh, surveys, and everyone wants to uh, look better than we sometimes are. And this survey was verifying our behavior in the network. And in the context of the digital myself, uh, and uh, the competencies are of key importance. And of course, this is also an issue. How do we protect our image? Because uh, it pertains to what tools we use and how do we use the tools that we have. And under the survey, we use two tasks. In first, uh, we uh, ask to uh, enter uh, the configuration of the privacy. And then we, we, we also were trying to, uh, we were asking the internet users to find the information about themselves uh, in the internet. Well, the basic question was what they understand by the term uh, private or public. This is most individual issue. Every one of us uh, has a different um, definition. And uh, I remember a quite difficult moment during the workshop with parents when we were showing with uh, teachers uh, the pictures, the nude pictures. And some of the parents were shocked and uh, one mother was really surprised that we uh, are shocked because she said that uh, youth just learn about their sexuality. And I asked this mother whether she realizes that uh, it is public because everyone has an access. It, it's uh, like um, putting the posters uh, with nude children everywhere. Um, and this uh, unawareness of uh, parents is also another threat. Now, when it comes to social media, this uh, division between pro public and private much depends on how we understand it. Uh, there is this uh, simple split. There are persons who are not uh, very trustful, discursive category when the, the privacy is uh, wrongly understood uh, as uh, the one which is not uh, attributed to the public persons. It was uh, connected mostly with uh, the fear of losing uh, control over our image, which was connected with uh, resigning from using uh, social portals or some tools. What is our view on privacy? There were two key notions, but I would encourage you to take a look at the opinion. It shows how very much uh, this boundary is uh, fluid. If uh, an adult was to explain to a child where is the border, because he himself is not able to draw this line or to, to, to set this uh, border. When it comes to our image in the internet, how this digital myself is uh, perceived by others and uh, how it's visible. The uh, respondents uh, had uh, worse competen competencies than in case of uh, managing the privacy. Almost half of the respondents as part of the tasks well, it was the first uh, situation when they were looking for the information about themselves. Previously, they didn't try to do it, so they didn't realize what kind of data uh, anybody can find uh, in the internet. And others said that they don't care for their image at all. 
well, the problems with the competen competencies which are connected with uh, the level of our skillfulness and how we um, shape our image, because it's not only us, was noted in case of 24% of respondents. This, uh, this is not a large group because uh, this survey uh, was on a small group of respondents. It's very important and what seems uh, important, the issue was how to change the information about themselves in the internet. They were asked to modify the, the, the information which was wrong or pejorative and it turned out that many people had uh, problems with that. Almost half of them um, were um, contacting uh, administrator or the publisher of the uh, service, but they were not sure what to do next. The majority said that they had no opinion or no idea how to modify their uh, wrongful data. In short, the uh, Respondents uh, were uh, aware of uh, the privacy threats, but higher competencies uh, were not really present. So the general awareness level versus competencies, there is quite a divergence. What is important, and it seems that one should uh, notice that, the majority of the internet users uh, acquire the competencies of uh, using the tools when they are adults. Often in their professional career, they were not able to acquire these competencies uh, properly, and they don't know where to find this information. So it seems that what is key is that that uh, such information as, as uh, the information prepared by Panoptical Foundation is available in the internet. What is also important is that the persons using uh, social media tend to have uh, better uh, competencies and they are more resourceful. What is also important An awareness of having the uh, internet image is uh, very um, dangerous because people just don't realize that they, they should manage their image in the internet. And finally, in the uh, materials, uh, conference materials, there is a special brochure, Web We Want, and that deals with uh, digital, you know, myself, an issue of how one should manage uh, his image in the internet. It is written in uh, the language of uh, youth, so it can be a valuable source of information. We are willing to share with the books from our perspective, I can say, that we take a complex perspective. Uh, some educational activities are important, and the services should be safe. We are trying to, to, to monitor the network. And as an evidence that we do it is the fact that every year we get safe internet certificate, but also the tools that we pr propose. For example, safety package, which is free of charge for three uh, kinds of uh, devices. Uh, and we encourage to use it in mobile devices. When it comes to what we want, this is a valuable publication, but uh, let me also point your attention to the fact that 31% of uh, kids use uh, uh, social services and 50% of youths uh, uses video charts. Uh, 68 or almost 70% uh, is in touch with uh, children they, they've never met. So this is also key to how they manage their uh, image in the internet. I encourage you to take a look at, uh, at our website where you can find all the materials and links to two online services which uh, will facilitate uh, providing the instruction to children.